Hi, today I would like to have this unfinished project done. The E10 Panzer Eager is an easy assembling and economical kit from Trumpeter. Interestingly, the kit contains two types of inducer wheels and the relevant tracks in rubber and plastic. And the PE parts of the kit are just right to fix where they are needed. My first task is to drill holes in the machine gun and the escape pipes. It looks so weird if they were not hollow. A basic hand drill could easily fulfill the mission. As usual, I try to improve the details by 3D printing products. That's a common measurement to revive the old kit. As for the optional inducer wheels and tracks, I picked the same ones as the Panzer IV. Otherwise, it won't be so intriguing, isn't it? I have to say the kit is super smoothy and easy assembling. Fix my mood quite well at the moment. After tired and annoying work, I just want to find some tranquility and amusement in scale model building. Always protect the metal first with special primer, cause the coat on metal could be easily removed even by very tiny scratches. This black and white process is my comfortable way to start painting. It's going to provide sufficient shadow highlight relationship on the undercoat. The vehicle exists only on the design board and is the true owner of the title Hazard. The camouflage I applied here is quite random and whatever comes up to my mind. I'm going to apply a three color camouflage on it, meanwhile trying different techniques of masking.
rescue our country, Afghanistan. When we left billions of dollars of equipment behind, we lost 13 billion. You do whatever you want. And that's exactly. After the main coat was done, I polished the metal edges and painted the components in their proper colors. Then highlight the details and apply some basic chipping effects. A black bean wash will make the details more apparent. With the highlights applied moments ago, together they provide a more significant result. Besides, the effects could be easily adjusted or removed by any brand of enamel thinner. This orange-red pigment will be used to add more burned and rustic results to the escape pipes along with the black-brown basic coat. Together, they provide diversity. This red mud enamel paint will be applied to the hole and both sides of the chassis and tracks. Then a dry mud enamel wash will be the next layer.
The final touch of this stage will be a pigment wash. Besides color, the pigment offers volume and texture. White oil paint could be used to create water flow effects. A rustic wash to the chipping and rustic areas. I didn't want the effects to be too solid, so I adjust them while applying them. Although I'm a friend of storage, but consider that the vehicle has a very clear and ambush style shape. Too much storage on the surface will destroy that thick and sharp shape. So I'm quite restrained in terms of storage. Interestingly, the kit contains a lot of optional gear and tools. It's a fun to pick and organize them at your view. Still, I would like to have a quick build base for the E10. Every kit deserves a decent destination, right? Combining the wooden base and shaped styrofoam together, I used paste to cover the styrofoam, creating a basic landscape texture. Use the rubber tracks to leave track paints on the paste. Mixing water, PVA glue, sand, real earth and stone for my porting. Applying the mixture to the surface of Diorama. As for how I paint the vehicle, I give it a black undercoat first. As the second layer, Tamiya SF90 provides a wet, rotting, moldy sense. Then follows Tamiya SF-79 offering a soil tone. Mixing SF-90, 79 and 55 together, highlighting wherever it was needed.
Voila, that's it. NG10, the real hazard. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, forward, or just watch the video. Any kind of interaction will be a great help on the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.